Okay, hello. This will be a two to three part video on the operation and qualifications of the MEEP 006A 60 kilowatt genset. You can see the um, control panel here. Air intake. There's the air filter and there's the heart of the unit right there. That's probably unnecessary, but it's a, it's a turbocharged uh, Aulis Chalmers six cylinder diesel. Made a lot of improvements to it, not the least of which is the uh, fiberglass and lead insulation that lines the entire inside. Of course these doors during operation are fully closed. The original unit comes with a basically a spark arrestor in this location here. That's been eliminated and insulated and replaced with a, uh, a diesel rated uh, muffler flapper valve on the top. This area here is completely insulated prior to being covered with uh, aluminum tape. Deflector unit on the front here is, is also fully insulated to help with sound attenuation. 222 12 volt batteries connected in series are mounted there to create 24 volts. service side of the unit here. Oil intake, um, dipstick which also can be um, fully accessed during operation so it can be the oil level can be checked while it's running. 200 amp three phase breaker here. I've got a uh, load bank set up here. Uh, we're going to put 22,000 watts on the unit, which is only maybe a third of its capacity. Not a tremendous amount, but uh, enough to get a, give it a little bit of an exercise. There again, got the insulation here, fully insulated above the unit, which is stuff that's been added. It was not done uh, for the military. The unit's uh, got a 55 gallon stainless steel sub tank on board with 50 gallons usable. On the other side, I've all that's been plumbed so that it can go uh, and be connected to right there. I've got, if you can look and see, I've got a there's a 500 gallon and a 250 gallon um, remote tanks which are also available, but not included. We'll switch system here. All you have to do is put the, um, the return connects here, supply connects here, and you switch the valves. As long as the air has been uh, evacuated from the supply lines, you can do that while the unit's underway. Got uh, cartridge oil filters here and the the triple we've got a water separator what filter tertiary filter here before it all goes to the injection pump uh, this is a cooling unit here inter, uh, an interchanger uh, there's a storage box here that's got all the um, any little specialized stuff that is required for bleeding off air from the fuel filters when you do a fuel filter change etc. Push your turbochargers up top here. I'm going to go ahead and start the unit at idle and let it warm up and in the next video we'll see it producing power.
I'll hit the oil pressure override and the start switch. warm up a little bit and then in the next video we'll boil this tank of water.